I'm with my friend Len Kerr and we're travelling up to Alcantor Ski Resort um, to learn how to use an ice, an ice axe <laughs> and a place called Snoqualmie Pass and it, there's snow on the side of the road about six foot thick. Stay tuned, there'll be a lot more happening today. This is gonna be funny, me trying to learn how to use an ice axe and how to use crampons and how to use micro spikes on my feet. It's gonna be something else. I got a part-time job as a guide for the Navy. Um, so with my outdoor skills, they hired me, and they pay me to go hiking, they pay me to go snowshoeing, and whitewater rafting, and kayaking, and climbing. How cool of a job is that, you know? So I have access to whatever my job has, but tomorrow is my last day working for them. Um, I'm packing it up entirely, I'm going to sit in my front porch with a rum and coke and yell at kids to stay off my damn lawn. So what I have is 60 centimeter, 65 centimeter, and 70 centimeter. Your ice axe is, again, because of what the Mountaineers taught me, sized for you. And the way to size these, this is my personal ice axe, and I'll tell you a little bit why that's on there. But you'll need to choose one of these three to see which way, which ice axe is the best for you. So you just simply it actually like that um, between your fingers and down cupped in your hand arms straight down to your side don't lean down left or right and the spike should be roughly just roughly about your ankle bone down there there's different thoughts about whether it should be longer or shorter again this is just the mountaineers way so grab an ice axe again hold it like this and just see if you can figure out which one would be roughly at about your ankle bone What you're hanging on to like this is the head of the ice axe. This is the shaft of the ice axe. And this is something we'll talk about in a minute. So for the, uh, the head of the ice axe, the business end here is called the pick. This is what actually digs into the snow. The uh, back end of it is called the ads, A-D-Z. Uh, we won't really be using that too much. There is a use for it though, but we won't be using it. Um, the shaft is actually quite important. You see it's not completely round. It's flat on some edges and rounded on the other edges. And that's designed that way also. At the bottom of it is the spike. Uh, the spike is one of the things that we're going to be teaching today that is actually very important about this aspect. So the leash is also the other part of it. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, there are different theories about whether your ice axe should or should not have a leash. The Mountaineers have taught, yes, you should have a leash. That's tiring. Walking somebody else's 
footsteps right now. I hear you. I might have let you walk and let you talk to them. Makes me puffed out really quick. Lots of shortness of breath. It's hard going. Got no idea what it's going to be like with a 40 pound pack on me back going through the Sierras. We we're only mucking around in the car park learning the skills. Very difficult stuff. Very tiring, very quick. Yeah. Slide yet. I just want oh. you to uh, just hold the position. So get the position correct. The ads is right next to your ear. You're looking down the shaft of it. Your butt is up off of the snow, completely up. Just your toes are in the snow. All of your body weight is across that shaft. It's going to be uncomfortable in your chest. It's going to hurt a little bit. Look down the shaft. It's a little bit of abs. That's good, Allie. More weight plank. needs to be on your chest, though. Remember, keep that right hand glued to there and lean backwards. Put that spike into the snow. Put the spike in the snow. Good. Slow yourself down. So here's what it looks like. So I can stop. I can go, stop. And it works really well. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, let's give it a go. And put all your weight on that ass. Yes. Roll. Be a lot faster than that, kid, because you got the basic technique. Okay. Get in there. Game it hard. Definitely the right form though. Jam. Right? Yep. Okay. And okay, then you just go to you give yourself a rest after you're on your stomach. Okay. Run around. Okay. Think through it. Oh. Think. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. We just finished our training at, up here at Snoqualmie Pass, up at, um, up, at up, in, up, in, up in northern Washington. Just absolutely amazing. I learned how to save my ass in the snow. <laughs> just amazing. Uh, Steve Kane was awesome. Lovely black. Learned, just learned so much today. Unreal. We're heading home now. All the way back up to Cedro Woolley. It's about a two and a half hour drive from here. And uh, yeah, we've just had a magic day.